Hello guys, welcome to Stealth Security. In today's video, we are going to look at GoBuster. GoBuster is an amazing tool that helps us to discover directories, subdomains, URLs, and even S3 buckets. In this video, we will look at working with GoBuster and also go through a couple of practical examples so that you understand how GoBuster exactly works. But all our videos are for educational purposes. So if you use something illegally and get in trouble, we are not responsible. Please use these tools carefully. We have also recently written an article on GoBuster with a lot of examples. So if you want to read this article, you can find this under blog.stillsecurity.io. To install GoBuster, you can either use apt if you are on Linux or Debian based operating systems. And if you are on a Mac, you can use brew. I have already installed GoBuster, so I won't be doing it again. But to check the installation, we can use the help command. You can see that GoBuster displays all the available commands, and this can be used as a reference when you're working with GoBuster. We can see that GoBuster gives us a list of modes. So these modes will be useful when we are trying to discover directories, subdomains, S3 buckets, and virtual hosts. So we'll be looking at a couple of practical examples, including directory and DNS discovery. Before we start working with GoBuster, we need to understand what a word list is. A word list is just a list of words. This list can be a list of usernames, passwords, emails, or even directory names. For example, if you look at this list, this is a list of common directory names that we can use with GoBuster in order to discover if a given website has any of these directories. Another popular example is the Rocky word list, which has over 1.4 million passwords. The Rocky word list is commonly used with a lot of penetration testing tools. I'll put a link in the description below. For this video, we will be using this word list, which is also called as the common directory word list. You can find the link for this word list in the description as well. Let's look at the directory attack. To find more information about the directory attack, you can use the directory help command that comes with GoBuster. For the directory attack, we'll be using two inputs. The first one is the URL string, and the second one is the word list. Let's perform the attack. And for this, we'll be using the stealthsecurity.io domain. GoBuster is now running and you can see that GoBuster has already started discovering a couple of directories. We can see that GoBuster has finished running and has discovered a few directories and files. So this is how GoBuster discovers directories and files. We give it a word list and a URL and it starts scanning and tells us whenever it discovers a directory or a file. Now let's look for some subdomains using GoBuster. First, let's look at the help command that GoBuster provides. So for DNS enumeration, we'll be using the domain string and the word list. We'll also be using the wildcard flag because a lot of uh, the subdomains in stealthsecurity.io will return 200 response. So we want some exact matches and that's why we'll be using the wildcard flag as well. For this attack, let's create a custom word list. We can add admin, blog, root. I think this should be enough. Now we will use the subdomains word list and the domain and try the DNS attack. You can see that GoBuster has already discovered the Stealth Security blog. This is how we can use GoBuster to discover subdomains. 
We can even use a comprehensive word list, but for this example, I think this small word list demonstrates the purpose. Now let's see how to discover S3 buckets using GoBuster. Let's start with the help command. For this command, all we need is a word list. S3 buckets have unique usernames. This means you can create a custom word list, use it with GoBuster and see if there are any public S3 buckets. I'm not performing this attack because I don't want to discover other people's S3 buckets. But if you are auditing a company, for example, like Stealth Security, you can create a custom word list similar to this. You can add root admin archives and a lot of similar words and then you can use GoBuster to see if any of these S3 buckets are public. So this is how we discover public S3 buckets using GoBuster. There are also more interesting things that you can do with GoBuster and you can find more information from GoBuster's website. I'll add a link for the website in the description below. To defend against GoBuster or any other tools like GoBuster, the best thing to do is audit your own website or application. This way, you will have complete information which might be exposed to a malicious actor. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know in the comments. We also post a lot of interesting content in our social media and you can find the links for our social media in the description as well. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon with another topic.